good evening everyone. This person was born on the 24th of August 1933 in Dulwich, London. At the start of the Second World War, he was evacuated to Mattishall in Norfolk, where he spent the next six years with various families. After returning to London, he continued his secondary school. He attended the Borough Polytechnic, teaching his Diploma Technology in Engineering, before moving to an apprenticeship with Ray Roll Co., a high voltage switchgear manufacturer ultimately acquired by Siemens. At the end of his apprenticeship, he was offered a place on a PhD program at Loughborough University. However, National Service had other ideas and he was seconded into the RAF for two years. On leaving the RAF, he worked as a senior engineer for London Electricity and then the Central Electricity, sorry, Electricity Generating Board before leaving to work as Chief Engineer at the port of Dannon and Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. Returning to the UK in the mid-80s led him to setting up various companies, including Powerbank Limited, which was sold to a FTSE 100 company, and then in 1990 he set up his final company. Initially, his company specialised in high-voltage commissioning, testing and fault-finding. However, a chance meeting between the senior lighting engineer of Essex County Council, Tony Matthews, and this person working on street lights outside the oil refinery in Canary Island changed the direction of his career and to a degree his company for the final time. At this time, the electricity of work regulations had just come in, and Tony Matthews asked this person if he had ever tested street lights before and if he would be able to test. 120,000 streetlights that Essex owned so that they could stay legally compliant. Of course he said I can, having never tested a streetlight in his life. From that point, he and his company have arguably changed the face of public lighting and electrical compliance. From a team of just eight, it has grown to 150 in, over in just over 30 years. Now 88, he left the management of his company to his son over a decade ago, but only recently finally gave up his pilot's licence, restricting him to just three games of golf a week, walking his dogs and frustrating his wife Joyce with the next great ideas he wanted to patent. This year's Lifetime Achievement Award winner is Alan Hobbs of Electrical Testing and Engineering. Service to Industry Award. Wow. Thank you very much. I think uh, you've got a few words you'd like to say to the room. I certainly have. Thank you. Thank you to the HEA Council and wider membership for awarding me the Service to Industry Award. It is an incredible honour. I'm 88 and still going strong. But unfortunately, the 15-hour drought trip from Norfolk would have been a bit much, even for me this evening. I've had a long career, stretching from London, Japan, Spain to Saudi Arabia. But Rome wasn't built in a day, and it wasn't until my late 50s that I settled in Norfolk and found myself in the world of street lighting. And what an experience that's been. My heartfelt thanks go to the AGA, my wife Joyce and my son Simon, who have been with me through thick and thin. Some old friends I'd like to remember at this time are Tony Matthews, rest in peace, Brian Scroggs and Colin Crudgett. They all had faith in me. And this goes together with the incredible street lighting fraternity. 
Thank you all. Enjoy the evening. And thank you for coming.